Well, I'm out here in the garage. This is actually a few minutes after, like a few minutes after I made that video on the 2001 yard man. Uh, that was that was almost a that was like a probably 20 some minute video, so it was a long one. Just telling you a little bit about it, all about it. And I said that last part I would uh, go out there, you know, outside. I zoom in way too much. But I figured I'd go outside and I might take it apart. So I'm going to get my tools. And I'm going to, for starters, I'm going to do the tires. And now, see what else we can get off there. So, let's take a trip out there again. But this time I'm coming out from the garage. Right, there she is. Beautiful out today. It's probably up 60 something right now compared to this morning. It was like uh, 35 this morning. The low, but the real low is actually 30 degrees. So for April, that's pretty freaking cool. Yeah, we're actually below average for this year because we've had a lot of warm winter weather, and I think we're making up a little bit of winter temperatures. So, but it's fall temperatures right now, and it's spring. I can't even keep track if it's spring or summer, but this is a good tire. Too big. Try two inches smaller. Ah, I would have got that the second try if I would have. There we go. 13 millimeter. This is my Harbor Freight tool set. Let me get this on there and then I'll be back. Okay, got her on. Ah, uh, I'm gonna need a longer. You know what? I think I'll just, instead of using this, let me get my impact, because that'd be a lot easier. From Harbor Freight, this is my newest one. I got one drill and two impacts, but I've never used this one yet. Plus, it's got a bigger battery in it, because I had to get this battery separate so but first time me going to be using my newest my newest impact but but I used my other one that one seems to work real good I think the biggest thing I've used was the Landmaster tire and that took it right off so let me grab some more tools and I'll meet you outside well I found one I don't know what happened to my other one, but that's not one of my brand new sets. That's actually a used set that I got, but this should be long enough. So, yeah, that fits on there just fine. We'll get 13 millimeter and stick. Ah, just perfect. That is what I want. Let's go out now. Def somebody's definitely burning a burn pile because I smell it. Hopefully I don't need a longer extension. Oh, that's just, that is beautiful. And this is probably gonna be just like my Husky, one of those tires that you need to use a special tool to get off. But, yeah, that came off beautifully. First use of this Bauer. Let's see if this works. Jeez. I've got to give this thing a lot of credit so far. Because those bolts were rusty, and they just came right off. But these tires, they have pins in them. I 
and the pins are junk. So I can just bend those by fingers. They always got him. These front tires. Oh, I think I can fix this issue. Let me just go to the Honda Big Red, my 1985, because I got some pin puller outers in there. In my little storage compartment. Take this crap out of here. And if you guys can't see that, that's the old piece of junk starter from the yard, man. So, like you guys really needed to see that, but. See if these work. Okay. I'm going to have to clean this camera off. The rusty bolts use these. Definitely consider those. And the front tires are actually easy. The back ones have to be a big pain. See? There's a certain... There's things in here that you have to... Big pain in the rear end. You don't just take the rear tires right off. You have to have a special tool, which I don't have. This one... This this came from the A170... 175A Michigan loader. That. Yeah. Let me see if I can get that... Tire off. With no jack. Oh, it's come it's coming well let me put my camera down I'll pause it once I got it off well it was a little tough to get it out but as you can see it's out definitely harder no jack but that one's gonna be even harder because the tires more off the rim than that other front one Move this. This thing works great so far. If it didn't, that'd make me mad. It's making me proud though so far. Completely take stuff off like I'm stripping. So. I did a little bit of movement. But. Might be able to get that out a little easier but. That's going to be the last words though. Probably gonna take me 20,000 hours to probably actually get it at, get the pen out. Probably take more time getting the pen out than the tire off. Cause look at that janky freaking. The rims on this are actually pretty good. Pinch the crap out of these. See, it's taking trusty, so it's coming. See, told you. Try to put the camera down again. Just like that, put the camera down, use two hands. Got the pin out. That front tire looks shot, but uh, let's try to get her off. Put the camera down again. You want to know something? The pen was easy to get out of this one, but it was a little tough to get off. This one, the pen was hard to get out, and it just came right off. I think this tire and rim had to get replaced because maybe the rim got damaged because it was driven just on the rim because... This rim is silver and all the others are, they're yellow, so. This tire I kind of have hopes about, but not the way they freaking design them. Hopefully it don't rain on me. But, now if I had some kind of jack, 
there's an electric jack but I don't want to take the chance of ruining it so yeah I got those front ones off but the back ones are gonna to have to freaking wait and so might as well just start taking other stuff off I think I'll take that whole system right there that have all the have the dash lights on them and stuff I think I'll take that off I wish I could take this motor out but that's not gonna happen sadly but I hope everything else is coming though I got a lot of screws and stuff I might take this off just in case one on my tractor breaks. And I'm thinking about taking the Huskies off too because it's got a really good trailer towing thing on it, just like this one. Let's see if it's 13. Yeah, I think all the bolts on this tractor are 13 millimeter, just like the tire. But I'm gonna try to do something. That I might not be very good at. But. That's what I said I was going to try, but just uh, just uh, re just pause the video till one bolt after the other. But got those four out. They were not very hard at all. Oh, I got hard ones up there. Let me get get those two out. Get our trusty Bauer. Well, the impact cannot fit in there. So I'm going to have to use my... Uh, this thing. I'm sure that'll get in pretty well. Let me see. Oh yeah. It's a lot smaller too. See what kind of a pain in the butt this is. Yeah, I won't be able to do those edits. But <clears throat> maybe I will. Was actually pretty easy. This thing about this thing, it's actually pretty good that the the bolts are not actually completely rusted on there. Yeah, I won't do the edit. Cause that one's not really going on there. <sighs> Maybe not. The mower's wobbly now, geez. I think I'll leave the seat on it since it's junk. Oh, come on. I think I hear my dad. Yep. Oh, typical him, he got the mail. So, like I said, this thing has a, see? This one was the toughest one, but, hey. Got all five, five out. Oh, I got, I still got these two down here, which I don't, which I think might waste a little bit of my time. Well, I got five, six of them. I'm missing a bolt, which... It's down there somewhere, but... but that was uh, pretty easy. Alright. I don't think we can lose these. Okay.
Well, I'm going to have to use two hands for the other, so peace after I come back. I might not need the wrench, but because this one looks the rustiest. I don't even think I could get a good grip on that. Yeah, it's typical bolt just spins. So, yep, I will have to end the video.